Terminal Equinox, everybody. I am a little ashy, but we are ready to rock. <laughs> Trying to put on some lotion before the game started. Woo-wee! Summer is finally astronomically over. This is your boy, Money Flippin' Mad Richards, asking why does summer have to end three times? You know, there's the last day of August where nothing's official but the writing's on the wall. Then there's Labor Day, the ceremonial end, then the actual equinox to really slam the door on the summer. Can't they just pick like one day and then say, hey, sweaters tomorrow, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, summer's done, get some long johns, flannels. It would be so much easier. But it's also a special day because it's voter registration day here in America. We've nagged you before about double checking. And if you haven't done it yet, today's the day to write it on your palm and don't wash till you do. It takes a couple of minutes and it keeps America running. Like Duncan. Tasty, tasty donuts. Democracy is not a game, but we have got a game for you tonight. The classic HQ format where I ask you 12 questions and everybody tapping 12 right answers splits the prize pot of $5,000. Yeah. But now, <laughs> oh yeah, right about now, we got the thrilling high stakes VIP mode, baby. Buy a ticket and you move up to the VIP game where the prize money's bigger. Tonight, the VIP pot is $2,000, which is less than five grand. But when you cap entries at 200 like we're doing, it, div it divides up as, as, as much bigger prizes. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna keep that open, let y'all get it, get it where you fit in. Okay, it's only $20. What's the last day you spent $20 on, huh? You ever been uh, doing your laundry and, and you find $20 in your pocket? You say, whoa, it's a good day. Now you can take that $20, get yourself a VIP ticket, and then get in on the bigger prize for the HQ pot. VIP is the way to be. Yeah. Woo! Bet on your brain, okay? <laughs> Uh, listen, we're, we're, we're capping it at 200. So after 200, nobody else can get in the party. Right now, we got a, we got a few spots left. There's a few spots left. So if you think you're on the fence, you're like, oh, well, money flipper, I don't know how I feel about today. I don't know if I feel smart enough to go the distance. Let me assure you, you are. You certainly are. Mmm, you got to see what all the fuss is about. You got to be in it to win it. Also, this week we're saluting great nonprofit groups in the Pacific Northwest. That includes both Washington and Oregon. For tonight, it's a super one. The Community Foundation of North Central Washington, supporting charitable causes in their region. The foundation helps individuals, families, businesses, and agencies support charities through throughout three Washington counties through their community grants program. Nonprofits can apply for financial support to continue their important work. This year, a large portion of their efforts have gone into pandemic assistance and a special fund devoted to wildlife wildfire relief. Sorry, as fires continue to affect the entire region. So HQ is giving five cents for every person playing tonight to Community Foundation of North Central Washington. And right now, let's hear from their executive director, Beth. Take it away, girl. Hello HQ Trivia players, I'm Beth Stipe with the Community Foundation of North Central Washington. Thank you so much for considering a donation to our fire fund. Your donation is going to help rebuild lives in North Central Washington. All right, Beth. I like that. That was short and sweet. And yeah, we thank you so much for everything you're doing out there, Beth. HQties, if you want to check them out, you can find them at cfncw.org. All right, and give it a little love. Mm. Get down or not. Literally about 20 spots left in that VIP there. If y'all, well, you know, it's gonna be lovely. Whew! So, 
Does it feel like time to boot up this computer, install a brand new operating system, and drag our favorite icons into the ask bar? That prize money wants to break out of the piggy bank, so there's no sense in waiting any longer. Nothing to it but to HQ it with question number one. Lego. In a popular joke form, what is the proper response to knock knock? Knock knock knock. Nobody's home. Or who's there? What is it, y'all? All right, you grew up sheltered, if you don't know this one. Or your childhood friends were into something more sophisticated. But the only acceptable response to knock knock is who's there? 59,890 players know what it is. After that, you might be ready for Tom Swifties. Aren't you glad I didn't say banana? <laughs> that was one of my favorite ones growing up. Here we go, Q2. What you gonna do? A, pick -a, a peccadillo is a form of what? Mammal, mistake, or food topping? Peccadillo. All right, if you said a food topping, I'm pretty sure you were thinking of pico de gallo, okay? And if you told your f***ing, that was a bit of a peccadillo or a mistake. Yeah, babies, woo! All right now, 30,043 players knew that. You didn't make a peccadillo right there. A peccadillo is a minor social offense, but don't worry, it's recoverable. Real quick, don't forget that tomorrow is movie night with the peerless Anna Roisman walking you through a great movie decade. Talking about the 2000s, baby. A decade for epics and Oscars and unforgettable memories that I hope you didn't forget. So stop on by and see. Q3, that rhymes. Which of these brand names should have a hyphen? Cool Whip, Easy Off, or Kit Kat? Dancing to the music in my head. Did we Mandela you just now, hmm? Only one of these has a hyphen on the package. And despite a lot of false memories, it's easy off oven cleaner, not Kit Kat. Oh my gosh, that's a savage question. Oh. Savage question song. Sorry you got it wrong. Savage question song. That's what savage questions are. Hit him with the brush. So fly. 12,290 players got it right. Good job, babies. I just used some easy off. It's tough on grease. <laughs> Woo, dang. 10,508 extra lives just got used. That's what they're there for. Question number four, knocking on your door. What is the natural color of rubber? Black, green, or white? Natural color of rubber. Hmm. I know this one. Do you? All right, this puts a lot of things in perspective. Since you might see one of each somewhere, okay? When natural rubber degrades, it can turn green, but it starts out white. 18,207 of y'all must have seen some rubber dripping out of a tree, waiting to get refined and made into tires. Rubber bands. ones fell out of fashion. White is the right answer there. Question number five for the children. The founder of wellness brand Goop was once married to the lead singer of which band? Coldplay, Maroon 5, or Oasis? Was it gonna be? Oh yeah. All right, it sounds like a 90s Nickelodeon product, but Goop is a lot of makeup and fragrances from Gwyneth Paltrow, who you might know from Shakespeare in Love, or 13 years married to Chris Martin of Coldplay. Oh, adventure of a lifetime indeed. 17,764 players got it right. Coldplay is the answer. We were looking for at Q5. We have seven more questions. You got this. I believe in you. Question number six, and it goes a little something like this. What is there no law of conservation of? Angular momentum, electric charge, or luminous flux? Hmm? What's it gonna be? 
Y'all got it. Okay, you can't discover anything without nerds needing to figure out all the laws governing it, but they haven't figured out conservation of luminous flux. 13,511, see y'all are smart. Let's go. You knew that. Give yourself a pat on the back because that was a tricky one. Luminous flux. <laughs> yes. Angular momentum and linear momentum each have their own laws. Yeah. Question number seven. Wilson Phillips does not feature descendants of which band? Beach Boys, The Lovin' Spoonful, or The Mamas and the Papas? Hmm? What's it gonna be? Some bands keep the legacies going in ways you didn't realize. Wilson Phillips continued the reign of Brian Wilson's Beach Boys and uh, John and Michelle's, John and Michelle Phillips' Mamas and the Papas, long after their reign. I guess the Spoonful has no legacy. The Love and Spoonful, correct. Correct, Amundo. 13,641 players got it right. The Love and Spoonful. Yeah, and you, about to help yourself to a spoonful of tasty money. Did tasty money by the spoon. Question number eight. I know you're feeling great. Woo! Which of these films has double entendres mentioned in its PG rating? The Cat in the Hat, Pee Wee's Big Adventure, or This is Spinal Tap? All right, you'll find double entendres in all these movies, but reportedly, only once in history was it a deal breaker on family entertainment. It's that not too popular Cat in the Hat movie. Oh yeah, 9,523 got it right. And Mike Myers was never quite the same again. I still love him. Q9, hope you're feeling fine. An American DVD distributor with over 1,000 titles available has a name synonymous with what? Benchmark, Cry, or Dart? Time's up. Art house fans and people just wanting a good selection of classic movies go to the Criterion Collection, named for a standard or a benchmark, if you will. Yeah, 7,192 knew what to do. I guess the Precedent Collection just sounded lame. Criterion, that's fancy. Mmm, criterion. <laughs> Question number 10, my friends. Time to get it in. Lego. A basketball team from what nation was stripped of Paralympic medals due to faked credentials? Brazil, Russia, or Spain? Who's it gonna be? No one on this team had actually been tested to qualify. They weren't eligible to compete, and Spain got in a heap a whole heap of trouble for its uh, basketball team. 6,759 players got to ride a Q10. That's just shameful. I mean, how desperately do you want a victory? Hmm? You should want it bad, but not that bad. Come on now. Q11. All dogs go to heaven. In Miss Pac-Man, the only non-fruit bonus item is primarily made of what? Bread, meat, or sugar? All right, Miss Pac-Man eats, uh, she, you know, pretty healthy, right? Six of her seven bonus items are a piece of fruit, but right between the orange and apple is a car break. A big old bready pretzel. <laughs> That's two food groups down. Now we gotta get her some protein. Bread, you heard what I said. 4,936 players are moving on to the final question of the game. Big old bready pretzel. <laughs> nom nom nom. All right, Q12 is upon us. <sighs> can you feel it? Yes, you can. It's right here. Okay. Q12. The author of the Xenogenesis trilogy shares a name with someone who was married to whom? Mark Antony, Julius Caesar, or Caligula? I feel like the lights in the studio are brighter today. I keep squinting. I need to make an appointment with my eye doctor. Okay. 
Science fiction was deeply enriched by Octavia Butler's contributions. But whom she was named after is unclear because ancient Rome had a lot of Octavias, including the fourth of five wives married to none other than Mark Antony! Oh my gosh! We got 1,458 winners! Yeah, baby! Woo! Big money, big money, big money, big money, big money, big money. Ha <laughs> ha! Follow me at Matt Woods Funny. You just got some big money. Nobody's gonna tell me in the chat that I had pepper in my teeth this whole time. Dang, son! Shout out to every VIP player that won. You are $166.66 richer. Shout out to Super Lunch, LH524, Valerie Bo, Saint uh, uh, and Saint Anthony. You knew that last question. Neon the Sea, Incompete, Wilbert. Uh, oh, what up, Wilbert? IP6SE, Snowdonius again, Jupiter Brand, Hayden, good job, babies! Woo! $166.66. Now that is. Let me hold $20. I'm kidding. <laughs> Nicely done to all who won, and if you only played, I'm not throwing shade, okay? Playing trivia games is how you get good at them, so come on by tomorrow. Bulk up that brain some more. All right, we're always here at the same time on the same app, ready for you. Once again, the game tomorrow is gonna be HQ Movie Night with my homegirl, Anna Roitzman, okay? Asking you about movies from the great decade of the 2000s. We were all so naive then. And remember that charity, the Community Foundation of North Central Washington. Love them so much. Helping the region get through a lot of craziness, all right? They're at cfncw.org. Right here. Yeah. And you can pick who your donation goes to, so hit them up. Until next time, this is your boy Money Flippin' Matt Richard saying, there's only a little bit of September left. You know, it won't be, won't be long until political emails start telling us what's really scary. Ooh.